tight clash was expected. Here's Kevin Smith with the team sheets. The lineup for the Diesel Electric Services Eagles today. A very strong lineup, uh, including two Zimbabwe players there, which is uh, uh, Daniel Nyuki and uh, Freddy uh, Ganyapu. And uh, also just a reminder of the uh, classification points for, for the players. When you see the higher the, the points, the stronger the player is or should be. And the lower the, the uh, uh, classification points, you have to have 14 points on the court at any one time. The uh, Mongoose, I think, are going to have a bit of a problem against the Lions today. Uh, not a very strong lineup, but you see number 15, Ralph Williams. He's been drafted in from the Cape Town sides in the transfer period. And your match officials for today's encounter. It's Charles Manetti in the middle. And uh, on the left of screen, Adam Morocchi, Tony Gravito on the right. And they brought to you courtesy of the Sassel Technical Excellence Program. Joining me in commentary, Kevin Smith. First round action of the 2019 Supersport Wheelchair Basketball Series underway here at the Vodacom Mandible Indoor Center in the white playing left to right. Diesel Electric Services Eagles and we're playing on the, uh, in the purple colors, the Luxpan Mongoose. They are in the purple with the white ribbing and mongoose in possession. Kevin, you've alluded to it. What chance do the mongoose have against a very strong electric uh, diesel electric services eagle side? Yeah, Andy, the eagle side uh, uh, you know, have huge depth, and they always see a fast break with uh, eagles and uh, uh, Cabello and Quana. William Ruber in for the Mongoose. And there's that very strong defense from the Eagles. Can the Mongoose penetrate it? They need to take some points while they're on offer. And that was a good rebound picked up. And the Mongoose do, in fact, open their account. Number 12 for the Mongoose. KB in corner bringing the ball over the line. Alan Matatatsi back to the top of the key, and this was a well worked basket. Should be two points, and it is. Yeah, much better from the Eagles there. Created the gap. And they put uh, Jack Makhotsi in the, in the position for a shot. And Makhotsi very quick onto Ruva. Yeah, good uh, take there from uh, Ganyapu, uses hype well. Ganyapu breaking into the center, opportunity here for a great little pass, but KB in corner did well and finished off the movement. He may have just felt a little wrong option if he hadn't scored those two because Ganyapu was free, but KB in corner just doing the business. The Mongoose are in the purple, playing right to left on your screen, and the Diesel Electric Services Eagles in the white, playing left to right. Opportunity for the Mongoose, opportunity taken. That might just spur the Eagles on now, realizing that they've had a very poor first quarter by their standard. Marcus Retief. Yeah, much better shot there from uh, Marcus Retief. suggesting there may have been a foul match official was happy so the mongoose are back to take on the offense of the eagles and yeah, it looks like uh, ganyapu was fouled in the process of shooting so ganyapu really needs to sink at least one of these two free shots just to calm him down and there it is and it's amazing what confidence you can 
get from just popping down a free basket, particularly when it just plops down the center of the basket. Missed the second though by a long way. Yeah, the ball's actually got to, got to hit the ring. That missed everything, so uh, immediate uh, side ball for the Mongoose. William Ruber is being watched very carefully. And there you see the Eagles defense just peeling off, covering for each other the whole time. Well taken basket. Ralph Williams showing all of that old experience. Positioned himself well. Retief. Yeah, gone uh, flat again with that trap to uh, Retief. There's a possibility of an overlap here, and William Ruber saw it. Great layup from William Ruber coming down the left hand side of the court, just banging it off the glass. He saw that opportunity, read it like a book. Two points, thank you very much. Ralph Williams, rather a tired attempt. Big overlap for the Mongoose. A great play. They need to polish this off now. That whistle had gone. Yeah, corner just committing that foul. Will be two free shots. Bang, two. Beg your pardon, it's uh, first of the two free shots. Can he repeat that? Because it was a very impressive free shot. Only trailing by two. Fairly good outing there. Well, there is a basket finally from the Eagles. It's taken long enough in the coach's mind. Freddy Gonyapu acknowledging De Seco's attempt and shot. All moving quite well now for the Eagles. Just need to polish it off with a couple of baskets. Get the confidence back up. And the Eagles are good steal. And this should be two points. Two points, easy as you like. Cabello in corner. Taking the pass from Jimmy Mamfengu. At this stage, the Eagles will want to consolidate. Go into the break. Have a really solid team talk and come out firing. That's an excellent pass from uh, Nuke into uh, De Seco. He finished off with a nice basket. And here's KV in corner. Opportunity. Getting good support. Broncos attempt picked up by Daniel Nuke. Nuke using his heart well, finishing off. And finally, the diesel electric services Eagles find themselves into the 20s. It's been a lot of hard work. at half time let's look at the uh, engine room of both sides there the two pointers 10 out of 36 for the eagles at 28 percent that's a shocking average and uh, mongoose uh, not much better at 21 percent five out of 24. turnovers for the mongoose 13 that's a problem for them and that uh, feeds the eagles uh, opportunities to uh, go and attack <laughs> In two and a half minutes into the third quarter, not one basket in this quarter from either side. Yeah, it certainly is, Andy, and uh, I think uh, Anneli Clady, the coach for the uh, Eagles, is going to be having some strong words to say to them in the next practice session. As will the coach of the Mongoose, but as we say that, it is Matatazzi with a hallmark shot of his from the side of the court. making up his mind should he go for the shot should he just offload it he chose the latter did come in eventually for the shot and it's been picked up by Ganyapu and Ganyapu making merry under the basket that was probably one of the better baskets of the game thus far in a very tight spot he was well marked he didn't have a lot of time the seconds were ticking away two baskets scored thus far in just over five minutes from either side. 
And another, uh, another important uh, fact here is that the Mongoose are sitting on uh, collective fouls for this quarter. With five minutes left in the quarter, that doesn't augur very well. Although maybe they won't be that worried because the free, as I say, the free shooting hasn't been that great. But Tatsi's just dropped one in. No consistency. Missed the second. Oh, what a good steal. That was an outstanding steal from Mamfengu. Yeah, but Matasasi just uh, gave it away. Uh, lost control of it. Well, one suggests that the coaches of the Wolverines and the Lions in particular will be looking at this and saying, hmm, could be an interesting season. Yeah, certainly. Ralph Williams uh, putting that two-pointer down for the uh, Mongoose. Kevin, what I'm very surprised about is that Ralph Williams isn't doing more talking on the court because he's got loads of experience. He's a former national player. He was an outstanding player in his day and very organized. And one just wonders if he shouldn't be maybe trying to ooze energy and uh, advice on some of these players. Yeah, certainly, Andy. And uh, but I think he's uh, probably new into the into the group, so maybe uh, his experience will uh, come in later. Well, that was a great pass. Nearly resulted in a good basket, and yes, it was uh, finally finished off by Paul Mahono. Started the move and finished it off. Mahono, second basket in a row. Be very happy with that. Just settling down, getting a little bit of consistency. One of the few players who have in the game this, uh, thus far. Nowhere to go for William Ruba. Yeah, just working it around too close to the key, too close to the defence. No, no gaps are going to be created like that. Shot going up from Buffalo Ramona. Not afraid to shoot. And that is what the doctor ordered for the Diesel Electric Services Eagles. That's Alan Matatazzi coming in. And suddenly the Eagles are finding a little bit of form. Jack Machorzi in control. Sees Matatazzi and bingo, two points. And Matatazzi actually did well to put that basket down. He wasn't actually in full control of the ball. And Matatazzi being guarded. Long pass over. Mahotzi finds Latif, and that was one for the crowd. Almost balanced it on the side of the ring. So Marcus Retief. One of those flatties do drop. Wow, what a great pass. That deserves to be two points. No shooting averages to be spoken about, apart from perhaps Mahono, who's had a couple of shots and most of them have dropped. Great long pass. And this should be two points. That time there was no mistake from Matatazzi. That little underhand shot off the glass, not an easy shot. Marcus Retief being held out by Ralph Williams. A good pass over to Mahono. Good basket. Yeah, excellent basket uh, by Mahono. He took his time three from four probably the best shooter in the game and Mahono, Mahono has had uh, f quite a few opportunities to shoot but he's uh, picked the right options let's see what can happen from the top of the key well that's what can happen that's how you take a free shot well, the mongoose have certainly had their fair share of possession just not able to capitalize shooting hasn't been great at all but how about this for a little break straight down the throat to the basket and uh, William Ruber doing really well saw the gap and just could have driven a bus through there
yeah, unusual for the Eagles to leave such a big gap. KB in corner, isolated, but manages to get it off. And in Paul Mahono, he's brought a lot of stability since he's been on the court, and his uh, shooting has been very consistent. Mahone managing to get it off, but it's been picked up and flicked off by Mahono, and this will be Cabela just not giving it enough off the glass, almost a fresh air. Marcus Retief, can he make something happen? Very good little fake the pass and uh, results in a very good basket capitalized on by Jack Makhotse. Crowd love that. It looked like he might be making his way to the left hand side though. Mahono, what a performance. Yeah, this. he's been getting himself into position and to uh, you know, very well and uh, receiving the passes and putting the baskets away. 63% shooting, very, very good. Cool, calm, and he's had a very good defensive game as well. So the long shots will be raining in now from the Mongoose. One does eventually drop. It's Monometsi putting this one down. You haven't seen a lot of Monometsi in this game. Ralph Williams, some good player from the Mongoose, and surely there's an opportunity. Wow. Yeah, that's Ramon. We saw him last season improve tremendously. There is Impo Mahono, who is the MVP for this game. Most valuable player, man of the match. And uh, he'll be delighted. And well deserved. Kevin, he's had a really good game. He's been consistent. When he came onto the court, he seemed to bring just a level of uh, calm and serenity, if you would. Yeah, he does. A very uh, sort of steady player. Can the Mongoose salvage just a little bit of pride, maybe one or two quick baskets. Romano, he's got lots of attention. There's Marcus Retief just holding him out. Good vision again from the youngster. Second attempt, Ralph Williams. to the man of the match Paul Mahono takes yet another two so at the full time with the Eagles against the Mongoose the business end is the two pointers again very very low scoring averages the Eagles have picked it up a bit uh, since half time but at 37% not good enough at all and for the Mongoose at 24% also really they need to work on that and the turnovers actually picked up uh, again the mongoose uh, having too many but the eagles also gave quite a few away and that would have been a, a problem for on both sides and the point analysis uh, where they've been scoring the points from you see the eagles most of the points 37 percent coming from uh, uh, the blue area which is just outside the key but i see they put up uh, just only three shots out of 12 under the under the basket which is uh, they should be doing better than that with their tall tall players and uh, the mongoose again 24 uh, percent just outside the the paint uh, of the key and uh, only one out of the, the two shots uh, that they put in right under the basket diesel electric services eagles battling a little bit until and Paul Mahono came on and he just seemed to calm them down and indeed came out as the most valuable player. And Paul, congratulations, a fantastic performance from you today. And as I've just said, you seem to come out there and calm the players. Your shooting was really on form today. They needed that. Tell us about your thoughts. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, my teammates, my coach, management for giving me this opportunity. Uh, uh, the second half, when the coach put me in, he just said to me, uh, just go there and do what you do best. I believe in you. The guys believe in you. Just go there, relax, play your game. And that's what I did. Well, you know what? They certainly have every reason to have believed in you. Your offense was brilliant. Your defense was very, very strong. 
but most of all you remain calm throughout, throughout the game. Congratulations, a fantastic performance. You are the MVP for the first outing for the uh, Diesel Electric Services Eagles. Enjoy the goodies in the bag from Supersport. Thank you very much. And I would, like, I would also like to thank the sponsors for all the opportunities that they're giving us.